at the bar, leave me at the bar. Episode 78 of Life on Tap, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. What's up everybody? I hope everyone's doing well out there. All you new uh, viewers, welcome. All you the same viewers, welcome back. Uh, feeling uh, pretty wild. By the time you guys be watching this, I'm actually going to be up in Montreal for, like I said last time, for Fudgem's uh, Mega Bastard Party. Looking forward to it. Hopefully we're going to have some awesome reviews, maybe some footage, you know, from... Uh, being out and about with the whole crew out there, uh, I'll I'll be linking, of course, everyone up uh, as I did with the last episode. That's going to be there. So, mad shout out to all you people who are going to be out there partying. So, uh, holla! Um, and I guess kind of an honor of you know, uh, Nai and uh, uh, you know Fudgem's you know uh, hitting you know having his bachelor party. I think it'd be funny to do it in the can. So. Here we are. We're going to do it in the can with the Lancaster Brewing Summer Seasonal. This is care of my care of my dad. Thanks, Pops. We have the Kolsch style. It's a German style Kolsch. Um, this is actually made with uh, two row and wheat and biscuit malts. Uh, and the hops are Tetnang and Vanguard. It weighs in at 4.8%, so it's even you know a little higher than some of the, some of the Kolsch I've had before. So I got a handy dandy little uh, Pilsner style glass. So we'll, we'll, let's give, let's give this thing a shot here. So it's pouring a very 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 light yellow gold ish color. Ooh. So as you can see, you got a very nice looking head here. Plenty of carbonation. It's you know it's uh, hazing up the glass just a little bit. Let's give this thing a, a whiff. I'm getting like you know, it's almost like I'm getting a lot of the the, the wheat element off of this. Getting a little bit of the, the kind of the, the deli mustard wheat play here. It smells great. It's, it's just it's also got this like this nice uh, flowery element to it, floral like floral element from the hops. Let's give this thing a shot. really smooth. Um, it's it's uh, definitely, you know, crisp. It does have some flavor. It's not, you know, you know, overly watery. It does have, have, it's not like big in structure, but it's definitely, you know, crisp and flavorful. And refreshing. I really would have liked to have had this outside when it was, you know, balls ass hot the other day. Um, I mean, that's kind of what culture is really good for. You know, it, you know it's, it's, it's not, you know, the high octane how alcohol beers I've had over the past couple of episodes, you know, in the you know nine to eleven percent range. So you know, definitely this is a uh, a trip down a uh, much lighter and much lighter road. But I mean, it's uh, a great great summer beer, you know, to have out there when it is hot. When you want something that's going to be you know flavorful but not like complete like you know long road beer. If you're going to the beach, if you're going to uh, you know going to spend some time outside, especially for those of you who you know go out to like say. Shakespeare in the Park, basically, you know, people who want to provide stuff out there, you know, stuff in the cans is great. I'm a major fan of Oscar Blues uh, and Butternuts and all the, all the other, and also 21A, uh, which I'll have to review some of their their stuff at some point uh, on the show. But definitely, you know, Kolsch is a great style, great summer style. It's uh, you know even lighter than some of the some of the wheat based uh, summer brews out there. So if you want something even lighter. You know, to have out there on the extremely hot days in the beach or whatnot, this is definitely the style you want to go with. And when cast brewing definitely stays pretty close to style on this, and I'm very, you know, I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm gonna, I'm, can't stop drinking it now because I'm, thir I guess, because I'm so thirsty. So it's pretty wild. But so that, that's how that's how we're doing it in the can this episode. I hope everyone out there is enjoying themselves out there. Once again, a shot to everyone out there. But the Beer Bloggers Conference, if you are coming, definitely hit me up. Let me know what's going on. We'll have to, you know, hook up and we'll see see who who's around, uh, who's going to be bringing some special brews and whatnot, and that, that'll be pretty exciting. But, you know, in, in the interim, basically, you know, once my classes are done and, and, and whatnot, I'll definitely be 
popping out and about all these different places here in the Cité before my fall classes start up. And hopefully I can get some more of these craft beer sessions going on like I was doing before. So if you are in New York City, want to hang out, want to learn a little bit, want to talk a little bit, want to try some good beer, you know, definitely hit me up and let me know what's and you know, we'll definitely be out there to have some fun. And to all my peeps up there you know, who I'm going to be hanging with in Montreal when this episode drops, basically, hope, you're ha hope we're all having an awesome time. I know we will. And we're going to have a great time roasting uh, on Fudgems and, and, of course, knocking, knocking a few back while we're doing it. So, if you want to reach us there on the web, it's uh, www.lifeontap.net. You can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check me out there on the Twitterverse and the Skypeverse. I am NewType2001. And on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash NewType2001. And, you know, especially to... Uh, to Fudgem's impending, impending uh, nuptials and bachelor party weekend. Lachayim. And remember, life's a tap. Drink up till it's dry. <laughs>